Welcome to the first episode of Tasty Tuesdays with the Ark of Anchorage, brought to you by Sweet Rivalry, our dessert and dessert cocktail competition fundraiser for the Ark of Anchorage on October 2nd, 2017 at the Hilton Anchorage. To get your tickets, visit sweetrivalry.com. Today's episode is about easy chocolate mousse. We're going to show you how to make this simple but delicious treat. This is an easy recipe to use as it contains only two ingredients. For best results, use quality ingredients. If you wish to add garnish to your finished dessert, you can use toppings such as berries, nuts, chocolate shavings, mint leaves, or even candy sprinkles. First, you will need to gather your ingredients and equipment. For this recipe, you will need 12 ounces of baking chocolate or chocolate baking chips. The higher the cocoa percentage, the richer and darker the chocolate will taste and look in your mousse. For mild chocolate flavor and color, use a milk chocolate, and for deeper chocolate taste, use a dark chocolate with 60 to 70% cocoa. You will need two cups of chilled heavy whipping cream. Cold cream, but not frozen, works best when whipped to get the texture needed for the mousse to form and set properly. It's best to use a pre-chilled metal bowl, but even better, a kitchen mixer bowl that is metal. Chill the bowl in the refrigerator for at least 30 minutes before use. This will help in the whipping cream process. If you don't have a kitchen mixer, a handheld mixer is an option. Don't have a hand mixer? A whisk works well. Just be prepared for several minutes of continuous and vigorous whipping. You will need a microwave safe bowl large enough to melt your chocolate, a spoon, and a rubber spatula scraper. Now that you have your ingredients and equipment, let's get to making the chocolate mousse. First, pour two cups of heavy cream into the mixing bowl. At a medium speed on a kitchen mixer or handheld mixer, whip the cream until stiff peaks form. If doing by hand, this may take a while, but it will also form stiff peaks. Next, break the baking chocolate into small pea-sized pieces and pour into a microwave-safe bowl. If you have baking chips instead, pour directly into the bowl. Heat in the microwave using 30-second increments to pull the bowl out, then stir with a spoon and go back into the microwave for another 30 seconds. Repeat this process long enough for the chocolate to evenly melt. Be cautious not to overcook the chocolate or burn it. The chocolate should be smooth and warm to the touch. Using the rubber spatula scraper, pour the chocolate into the whipped cream. Do not stir the chocolate in. Instead, fold it in carefully into the cream until it's well blended. Some natural streaks may appear and that is okay. You do not want to overmix or the light and airy texture of the whipped cream will be lost. Refrigerate this mixture for one hour. When it is set, the mousse will then be ready to be served in individual cups or small bowls. Add your desired garnish and enjoy.